this is Josh White with JW Math Tutoring. Today's video is going to cover a new uh, drop down auto feature involving regression that was recently added to Desmos, including the Blue Book app version of it. So let's go ahead and take a look. But life is a dream the calculus could never predict. Welcome back to my ultimate Desmos guide to digital SAT math. In this video, I'm going to go over uh, changes to Desmos involving regressions uh, that were actually just implemented in both the web College Board version and also in the Blue Book app uh, very recently, basically at the same time that I was recording uh, my overall, you know, ultimate uh, Desmos guide to digital SAT math. So <clears throat> the main change is that if you go ahead and create a table and add some points into a table, you can, there are options to automatically calculate the regression. So a couple things, just before I, and you can see it's basically this uh, icon right here. You know, if you hover over it, it says add regression. Before that though, I'm going to show you, <clears throat> excuse me, some changes you can make or some uh, settings you can make um, regarding the uh, Y1 column here. So to get this menu up, you have to long, uh, kind of long click on it. So <clears throat> it's difficult to get it to work sometimes. There we go. So again, it's not just a short click, but you have to hold the click and eventually the menu should come up here. So now the things that you can see that you can change, make these open and closed. You can change the color. You can also choose here line to connect them, solid or dashed. And you can also do, if you turn on this drag thing, then you can like move one of the points to a random, you know, kind of specific uh, spot. All right, but I'm going to try to get it back. There we go, right to where we had it. All right, so let's turn this off. We don't need the line just yet. And we can just keep them solid points of screen. Okay. So, uh, the next thing now is, like I said, up here, these three, uh, or this icon with, I guess, four dots and the little line in the middle. If you click Add Regression, notice this menu that comes up, which basically has a bunch of automatic options from the drop-down menu. So, <clears throat> there's linear regression, quadratic, cubic, quartic. These are quadratic, cubic, quartic. Those are obviously just polynomials. Then you have exponential functions. You're most likely not going to use any of the other ones. Logs are not tested on the SAT or like power functions or whatever. Any things on here. So for SAT purposes, you can ignore those. So notice it's automatically selected linear regression, which is what these points are, you know, these form a line. And it gives you the equation right here. Now, um, <clears throat> a couple things to be aware. First, notice rational function regression is not in the menu. So if you want to do regression with a rational function or um, I guess power function would in theory should uh, pick up any type of radical uh, expression, but in general for rational functions and also for radical functions, you're most likely still need to go in to type them in uh, as you normally would, you know, do them manually. and. If you want to know how to do those, you know, just go again, check out um, the advanced skills part, you know, of my ultimate uh, Desmos guide to digital SAT math. All right. Now, things you can do once you have this. So first of all, if you click this button right here next to equation, it's export and basically you'll just copy the thing down. And then from here, say like if you wanted to evaluate it, you know, you could just change this to f of x and then you could say, what is f of 4? Or, you know, what is f of negative 4? Or what is 2 times, you know, f of negative 4, so on. So this is how you can basically get the whole thing in a new line without needing to retype everything. All right. Um, <clears throat> next thing I want to talk about is the fact that, just so you know, quadratic regression, obviously it's not going to work uh, for this. But let me just do whatever a real basic example here. Okay, so here's just uh, real simple and actually let me let's do this. 
Okay. So here's quadratic regression. We have an A and a, and a C value, but B is just zero. So first of all, notice uh, this is the quadratic regression default is in uh, standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C. And so also notice if you click on these three icons here, it'll show you the model for the different uh, regressions. Okay. So it does not do it in vertex form. If you want to do vertex form quadratic regression, you will still need to type that manually, meaning you would need to type, you know, basically this right here. Okay. Again, that, if you want uh, more information on that, you can check out the intermediate skills uh, section of my ultimate uh, Desmos guide to digital SAT math. You know, check out that video. All right. Um, so that's the other thing. And like I just showed you for any of these, if you type it here, it gives you the basic structure. So for example, you go to exponential, here's, you know, A times BX. So a couple things. First of all, if you want the exact specific values for the constants, you know, for the A or for the B or for the C or for the whatever, what you would do is you would click these three dots and then go to export custom regression. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, now um, you can actually, first of all, you'll actually see, you know, A and B and C, but also now you can use them as uh, stored values. So if you needed to calculate, you know, A times B, if the question asked for that, or what is A plus C, you know, or A plus B plus C. Um, <clears throat> and also if you needed to just change something. You know, I mean, if you didn't want to retype, if you didn't want to, like, retype the whole thing, you just wanted to change something, you just try it, whatever, setting B equal to 4, or, you know, B equal to 5, or changing the C value, or whatever. Um, you can do that uh, as well once you, again, click these icons and then click Export as Custom uh, Regression. Now, the reason you have to do that is because even though, like, if I click on this, okay, the general model here is AX squared plus BX plus C, like, it, these values that it's finding here, the 1, the 0, and the negative 3, they are not stored for A, B, and C. So that's why if you want to use them for additional calculations, you need to do the export. So like, for example, here, if I now just try to type A times B, notice it's not recognizing them. It's not seeing any values stored in for those. See, it's asking for sliders. So that's why what you would have to do... See, notice now when I export it, no, it does recognize A and B as having stored values, and it fills them in. It doesn't, like, ask you to add sliders for them or so on. So that's why you would you would need to do, I guess, one extra step in certain problems now um, if you needed to take the values, the constant values from the regression, and do something to them. Okay, so uh, that should be it um, in terms of... Uh, this thing, I just want to double check though and see if we can use sliders with this. So this is an advanced skill that I'm going over right that I'm uh, testing right now. So if you uh, want to learn more about how to do this, again, this is in the advanced uh, skills part of my ultimate Desmos guide to digital SAT math. So let's set D equal to one, and actually let's set it here from zero to a hundred. So okay, yes, you can. It looks like you can use sliders in your table of values with the regression. Look, and it'll automatically adjust. Now the problem is again, if you're trying to figure out some value, like this is for one of these quadratic problems, common quadratic problem where it asks, you know, what could be the value of A plus B plus C? Technically, it doesn't really help you here on this one. You still need the custom one because you still want to find, like, what could be the value of all of them, you know, added together. So this specific problem, it doesn't necessarily help you, but for a different problem, if you wanted to use um, sliders, it could, uh, you can do that, it looks like. In other words, you can still use sliders in the table of values, <clears throat> and it'll automatically adjust your regression constants um, up here. So uh, that's a good thing to know. Again, this skill, it's in the advanced uh, skills part of my ultimate the Desmos Guide to Digital SAT Math, um, so check that out. So again, this was just highlighting some changes that have been made to the regression 
uh, function. Basically, that's a, now uh, an auto drop down menu that pops up. You know, when you click the little icon uh, <clears throat> over here on the corner. And the fact that you can copy and export uh, the regression statement to, you know, another line rather than, say, having to retype the whole thing. So those uh, those are both really useful. Those are helpful, obviously, because they basically they save time. You know, they may allow you to work through problems in a quicker and more efficient manner. Um, so hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and sign up for notifications. Otherwise, check out the other parts of, like I said, my ultimate Desmos guide to digital SAT math. You have basically an introduction, which is for people who uh, basically know very little or have very little experience with Desmos, and then the core skills, intermediate skills, advanced skills, um, along with com common problem types where you should and should not uh, use Desmos for them.